When we first reviewed Mario Kart 8 when it launched on the Wii U in 2014, our reviewer gave the title an excellent critique. Jonathan noted that Mario Kart 8 doesn't reinvent any wheel, but it, like nearly every Mario Kart game that came before it, was a wonderful multiplayer kart racer that would be enjoyed by fans for years to come. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is still that same gorgeous game, filled with great courses, characters, and carts. There are a few game elements that augment the game slightly, and an awesome battle mode that's instantly addicting, but on the whole, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is almost too similar to the game we fell in love with on the Wii U. Nintendo doesn't re-release games often, especially not so soon after their initial launch, but let me take your expectations down a notch if you own the Wii U version. Devoted fans who put down 75 bucks to pick up Mario Kart 8 and its DLC will fail to find a single new course in Deluxe. This may be disappointing for fans who were supporting Nintendo through its Wii U days because there simply isn't that much new on the racing side. Yes, there are a few new characters and carts, but really, the kart racing experience on the Nintendo Switch is virtually identical to that of the Wii U. Unless you're planning to play the game on the go, of course. The biggest highlight of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and what makes the entire package worth picking up is the game's battle mode. Battle mode was missing from Mario Kart 8's original release, but this battle mode accounted for the most fun I've had in Mario Kart ever. There are a total of 5 modes, with the option to randomize them too if players desire. Some of these modes are very familiar, such as the standard balloon battle that we've seen and played in battle mode before. Other modes, like Shine Thief, we haven't seen in quite a few titles. Shine Thief is probably my favorite mode of the game. The goal is to hold onto the shine for a total of 20 seconds, and all the other players attempting to steal it away at any given moment means that craziness is bound to ensue. One of my favorite online matches was recorded by Nintendo, and we'll have a link in the description, but it just shows an insanely hectic matchup where yours truly took second place. There's also a new mode called Renegade Roundup, where two teams are pitted against each other as cops and robbers, where one team is tasked with catching and the other drives away. Though the modes themselves are well designed, the maps for battle mode really made the experience memorable. Driving through familiar puddles of paint in Urchin Underpass, for example, was a delightful callback to another Nintendo title many fans may have already experienced. Overall, the maps were larger than I expected, allowing for a great amount of maneuverability, but cozy enough to where battles were still chaotic. Unfortunately, in the years since its initial launch, Nintendo has failed to improve its online capabilities. Though there was no noticeable lag or any slowdowns that I experienced online, despite playing with other reviewers across the planet, I still came away heavily disappointed from the network's features. There was still no voice chat, and it's still as unacceptable as it was in 2014. Moreover, with a team-based battle mode, it seems that voice chat could have not only improved trash talk, but introduced cooperation in this teamwork required mode. In a cooperative mode like Renegade Roundup, it felt imperative to communicate with teammates. Overall, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is an excellent package. The entire DLC and battle mode, in addition to the base game, make Mario Kart 8 Deluxe well worth its price tag. However, fans who own the original title and are short on change may come away a little bit disappointed with Deluxe. 60 bucks is a lot to ask for a game that you already own, and other than battle mode, there isn't much to justify buying the game again. Nevertheless, as a standalone title, Mario Kart 8 stands out as an exemplary buy for your new Nintendo Switch console. Deluxe's gorgeous visuals, variety of modes, and excellent kart racing gameplay will make it a title you continue to come back to for months.